Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Risk of Rain 2 modded. We are jumping in again. This time we're going to be playing as Bandit and checking out some more of these alternate skills. We have Bounce, which is going to be ricocheting bullets. We have Dynamite Toss, um, which is a returning skill from Risk of Rain 1 apparently. We toss a, a bomb that ignites and drops bombs. Can be shot mid-air for bonus damage. And also the Kinetic Refractor. Passively become invisible while sprinting and gain a burst of movement speed and increased damage upon leaving invis invisibility. And then Desperado, which I think is a vanilla skill. We're just going to jump on in. Um, I did have the Artifact of Command on while I was getting these unlocked, but we'll take that off for now. And we'll just jump in and try out these new skills, because this is a class that I really enjoy. And I'm I'm really intrigued to see how these skills play together. So the passive invincib invisibility while sprinting seems kind of amazing. Um... And then we leave it and get bonus damage. Um, this, that's pretty cool. I like that. And the the bounce, are we, are we seeing? Oh, there you go. Yeah, we're seeing some ricochet. So that seems like it could work really well with some other stuff. Um, I am going to grab this here. Because roll of pennies early on is a really good way to make a lot of money. Um, I, I realize the crit glasses are also really good. Hello, I see you invisible man. Good, good. But I also like the fact that our invisibility while sprinting thing is just something we don't we don't actually have to use. It just kind of happens. That's so cool. I really like that skill. Uh, gain a random boost when entering danger. That seems pretty good. That seems pretty good indeed to me. We've got a big chest here. So we might want to take some damage here in order to... Uh, Gain some money. It's better if we can get set on fire. That's like the best way with roller pennies to earn a lot of money quickly. Really, these enemies aren't too valuable for us. Um, oh, 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 I really like that. <laughs> That's really fun. As far as skills go, I think that's one that I can safely say I like also. Damage enemies heals us. That's really good. Right, let's gain a bit of money here. Lovely. I'm really liking the ricochet as well. Really, really useful. Okay, let's go find some more chests. We do have a Chan Shrine over there. Ooh, we have one of these things over here. Which I still don't really know what mod they're from or what they do, but I like activating them nonetheless. They seem to affect the, uh, the teleporter event in one way or another. Purchase strength. Okay. So that's probably going to give us bonus damage on the teleporter event, I'd imagine. Yeah, th with this, we're getting stacks of Desperado, and that's going to increase our damage with that ability permanently, I believe. Or at least for the rest of the stage, it might not be permanently. Still, it's really good to stack. We get ourselves the, um, the hardening response of physical trauma. I'm going to guess that's, that means if we get hit, we get like a bonus to defense. Kind of nice. Let's head up here, see what we can see. Isn't much over there. We've got a turret over here. Anything much we can see from over here. Ooh, that is big damage. Ooh, that ricochet is real nice. Let's be careful about accidentally stopping sprinting. We've got another crate over there. Oh shit, fire enemy. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Right. Just kill a few of these guys. We do have two fire guys, we don't need two. Okay, good. Fuel me up one more time, there you go. And get him killed. It's gonna lower our HP a good amount. We'll stay invisible though to make sure we're alright. Attacks that deal high damage release shrapnel grenades that explodes after a delay. That's pretty good. Come down here real quick and grab this chest over here. I think we're about done for this stage after that, to be honest. But maybe the grabbing all that money was a little bit overkill. Increased health regen is awesome. We did have a Chan Shrine. Maybe we should go and play that real quick. See what we can get out of that. This invisibility while sprinting things is. Okay, we have two Chan Shrines, actually. Quite like that. Uh, barrels give us speed boost a few seconds after opening. Oh, that's pretty good. And then we get the uh, manuscript thing, which is random stat by 10%. It's also pretty nice. Nothing. 
Nothing. I'm just staying sprinting because enemies don't attack me. Drops a random poison man when taking heavy damage. There you go. After taking damage, gain a speed boost. Okay, we've got some good speed boost stuff going on here. Let's go back over towards the teleporter. Honestly, this act invincibility thing. Invisibility is so good. Staying out of harm's way when we need to. It's really nice. Seems quite powerful. Wait, right, one second. Okay, let's go. Right. Let's do our teleporter event. Let's try and use our, our minds as well whenever we can. Our, our dynamite, should I say. That's so fun, that is. Okay, that's, that's a lot of damage there. Try and take out some of you guys. Okay, here's this aura that we've got going on now. Take you out real quick. Damn it, I need to try and shoot that before it actually hits. Also, I just about to say I need to be ready for this. Beautiful. And for our troubles, what do we get? We get ourselves this. Increase the duration of buffs. Oh, that's actually really, really good. Because that means our uh, coming out of stealth buff. Yeah, it lasts way longer now. Okay. We might want to try and stack those if we get the opportunity. Also, this shrapnel mine thing. Really good with our abilities. Proving to be very valuable. It's going off quite a lot. Look at that. Boom. That's really cool. I like that a lot. <laughs> I want more of those. But yeah, coming out of stealth uh, buff is now so much longer. It's literally more than double the length. That's a hugely, hugely important upgrade for us. So I'm at nine stacks of Desperado now. After I um, go through the portal, I want to see if they reset. I think they do, but I'm not entirely sure. It might it might be that they don't. It might be that they don't. They do, they do, okay. Um, I think I'm going to go for this here. Look at that, it's so good. It's so good, we have just enough damage to proc that. Right, let's just spend this time to scout a little bit. Got another crate over here. Pretty good starting location, really. We got one of these, which is going to give us a speed boost, which again is double length. Oh, that is so nice. I really want more of those. Grab sticky bombs. Oh, you've been hit by my poison mine there. Oh my god. This is such a good build already. I'm really enjoying it. And then we get using your equipment heals you. Nice. We don't have equipment right now, but that'll be good later on. Oh, hello. Beautiful. We've got quite a few, few more um, shops over there that we can choose stuff from. I like that. Got a chest over here. I see you over there. <laughs> that mine missed by a mile. Whoopsie. And then here we got chance to launch a mortar. It's fine. It's not great. Use this while it's quiet. Uh, Non-critical hits grant a stacking bonus that is lost upon critting. Okay, that's pretty good. Basically, we get uh, we get more and more and more crit chance until we hit a crit. I quite like that. That's pretty useful. So, really, we don't need anything that boosts our crit chance, to be honest. 
we're going to be getting pretty consistent crits. Pretty consistent crits here. All good. One second. Okay. Let's go back and get these shops over here. Oh, we also see an invisible enemy right there. I see you. Don't think you can get away with it that easy. Being a little invisible little freak. But oh, crowbar, yes. Higher higher HP enemies take more damage. It's gonna be really, really nice for our abilities that we've got going on. Also means our shrapnel and stuff will trigger more often. And there's quite a lot of shops, wow. We do finally have a piece of equipment here. More health regen again. Honestly, yes, I will take more health regen again. Although that's a, actually a different item. Even though they're the same item. <laughs> Must be two different mods adding a very similar item from Risper M1 or something. We need 60 for this bad boy. We can get there pretty easily, I think. And our other shop contains a goat hoof. We'll definitely uh, go for that. So the mortars helped out there. Pack up and move. I'm guessing that's the one where we can take chests with us, which is actually not bad. Um, it's mainly good for, uh, like, shrines and stuff that we can't, like, utilize in certain floors. But it can be used for chests as well. Ooh, crit glasses? Nah, I think we'll take this. Right. What else do we have here? Okay, this is this is pretty good. We'll, uh, we'll try and play this out before we do our boss. A thousand damage there. That's pretty good. There's an invisible enemy right next to me. I think I just killed it. Yes. Okay. This is another active, but it's a very, very good one. Basically, 3D printers, we can get um, two free items out of them. Do we have any of those in the stage? I think there was one right back where we started. It's a little bit of a trek, but it's honestly probably worth it. How do we get up there again? Do we got to go around this way? I think we do. Is that a 3D printer over there as well, or is that one of the crates that I just opened? That's one of the things I just opened. These are really good. Nice. At least have a chance to drop items. I very much like that. And I think we can take the jump pad that's over here to shortcut over. Yeah, we can. Nice. Yes, there was a tri-tip dagger there. Luckily, things can't see me right now. If I come over here and use this here, I'll get two of these. And I could stick around and also get two of these. But it's, it's a two-minute cooldown. I don't think I'm going to wait that long. we got two tri-tips. I think that's already pretty good going. I think we should get moving along. Should get moving along. Right, let's do the boss. But yeah, really good active here. Really good active. Occasionally inflict poison and bleeding on here. That's good. Two status effects for one. Holy sugar tits. The amount of damage we output them was insane. Wow. More gold, more damage. Always love that. Synergies. Unfortunately, we don't have any yet. Good check, though. Okay, we got some good status effects going on here. This guy also drops an item. Buffs last longer. Okay, we got another increase to our buffs. Is that? Is there any way we can take a look at our the actual amount that's increasing it by? Plus one second per stack. That's not insane, but it is only a white rarity item, so I kind of get that. This shrapnel thing, I, whatever this is, I, I really want more of it. I, I can't remember what item it is now. This one, nail bomb. I want more nail bombs. They seem 
Like, the damage that they do isn't insane, but it's normally enough to, like, finish off enemies. Like that look. Right, good, good. One shot that guy. We do have some shit over there, I should probably go open. I never checked up there. Yeah, let's just quickly go and grab whatever this is over here. Active. Another item. Not bad. Right, let's get gone. To the next floor and away. Good stage. We have really good damage now as well, especially if we mix that bomb in there. The, the fact that we can apply bleed and poison now as well is so nice. Try to dagger plus that other item we got. Oh god. Something on this stage is very, very, very laggy. I'm gonna guess it's whatever the hell that is over there. I don't know what any of that is, but yeah. There's an entire, like, extra area over here. What's all this? Yeah, whatever's going on on the stage, it is lagging the shit out of me. All right, let's go investigate what the hell this is. This looks modded, because I've never seen this area before. I don't know what the hell this thing is. Okay, it is something killable, good. Okay, it's dead. That has not subsided the lag. He was dancing around up here, so I imagine there's something up here for me to see. I honestly don't know what all this is about. This might be just an actual game update that I don't know about. I kind of got to explore it though, right? Yeah, the lag isn't great. I don't know what's going on with my FPS, but it is it has taken a dive. There isn't much here, but there is there is some containers out there that it looks like if I had the speed I could get to. Also, there's another one of those enemies over here. Hmm. Okay, let's get back to the mainland. This lag is horrendous. I don't know if you guys can see this on the recording. You should be able to, but it's real bad. I don't know what the hell's going on over here, but it doesn't seem great for our for our stability of our game. Let's um, throw a bomb to all of these. And we're gonna have to leave the stage like as soon as possible, because this is real bad. I don't know what to do over there. There's some shit going down. Right, let's just try and find the teleporter and get out of here as soon as. There is a big chest here that I would like to open if I can. It's only quite a bit more for that though. That's enough. A infusion's pretty good. Pretty basic, but it's nice. <laughs> there it is. It's over there. Look. Right, we're going to have to skedaddle, skadoodle. If anyone plays Modded Risk of Rain and knows what this might be from, let me know. Also, chance on hits fire magma balls. Two of those for free. I will almost certainly take that. Thank you. Another one of these things over here. I'm gonna guess it has something to do with those enemies, but I don't know what. Okay, we could die here because I just. The lag is pretty bad. Although, he just took a lot of damage, so maybe not. Nice. 
old toaster. Oh my god, this is unbearable. We're literally just gonna have to hope for the best here, I think. Also, I didn't realize my bullets ricocheted off walls, too. I'm just gonna fire anywhere I want and it'll hit. It's a lower damage, of course, but still. Right, 50%. We still get some good stuff out of this stage. One sec. Right, keep it going. Ah, shit. Come on. Oh, there's a chest we can open here. Nice. Good at least. This is actually pretty good. I like that a lot. There's another one of these snake things like up here somewhere that I can't, I can't see. I can hear it moving around. Either way, we're out at the stage in just a few seconds. There you go. Get us the hell out of here. I don't know what's going on with the stage, but game do not like it. Hopefully the next stage is much better. It is not much better at all. Okay, it's definitely something to do with whatever these enemies are. Whoever added these, please take a look at what the hell's going on with them. Because it is causing me some serious issues. Right. Let's try and hunt them down and see how things go. I'm pretty sure there's another one just over here. I thought I could hear one down this way. Okay. I don't know. This is very annoying, though, because it has uh, put a real damper on the run, I've got to say. The run was going so well, and... The frame rate has just disappeared. Right, I'm sorry I'm going to leave you Stone Titan for a little minute. There's another one of them over here. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what mod these are from or what's caused them to start appearing. But they've got to go. I think it's because there's just so many segments of them. Oh, look at this. The moment I try, try killing it, it's just going crazy. So many of them, too. What the hell's going on? Like, what? This... Ah, fuck! Like, what the hell is this? Oh my god, if I fire an explosion at them, the game just dies. There's somehow still more of these things. Somehow still more. Luckily, my invisibility is allowing me to get past the other normal enemies to get to them. You do so much damage as well. Oh, fucking hell, where have you come from? This is the problem as well, they're like stuck inside the walls and stuff. To the point where it's impossible for me to kind of kill them. You can see how much the lag subsided now though. It's like so much better now these things are dead. Where the hell's the other one? I can hear them still.
There was a few more over this side. See, check over here. The game is doing a lot better now, though. Ah, I got the wrong thing there. Breaks at low HP isn't great. Focus crystal. Hopefully they're not on every stage. I don't know what's causing them to appear all of a sudden, but it ain't good. Tell you what, it ain't good. shots here. There you go. Easy. Nice. Well, oh, you look like a cool champion. Molten coin. The term isn't very good. We do have our legendary chest just down here. Three thousand, but it's quite a bit. Quite a costly boy. Four thousand nine hundred damage there. Wow. Whoa. Okay. I was gonna say that I'd be so annoyed if it just like. Zoomed those off the map there. What's going on with all the, all the hanging, dangling bits? Game don't like that. It's kind of unfair game to add a bunch of things that like the shit out of my game and have them so deep inside the wall that I'm unable to kill them and they're unable to kill me. Like, what, what's even the point? It's like a Minecraft life machine. My hair, what's that? Weird looking jellyfish. I don't even know if I'm going to stick around for the legendary crate at this point. It's taken a while to get. It would be good though. I would like it. But the enemies have significantly slowed down. We are getting there. Oh, hello. Oh, I forgot about being set on fire. That, that just made us a lot of money. We're almost there now. I just hear this ominous sound coming from over here. Okay, we're almost there. I think it's 3,800. Sorry about that, I just have to sneeze. Ugh. Oh lordy lord. All right. Right, we should have almost enough now. Just make our way back over. Good dodge, my good sir. Our ricochet shots are doing so much damage now. Alright, I missed. Nice. And we get increased health and armor depending on your current gold. Okay, that's pretty decent. And also at this point, we might as well go back to that 3D printer and grab our freebies. Such a good idea for an active item. It's so strong, but it's so fun. Right, let's head back up. Oh, oh, there you go. Bunch of lag out of nowhere. A bunch of these guys just spawned. This is just ridiculous. Whoever did this needs to needs to fix them up. It's so bad. Like, are you seeing this? Are you actually seeing what you've done here?
Are you seeing the just destruction you've created with these awful creations? What is this crap? Why are they spawning? Well, like, do I have an item that specifically is spawning them or something? I don't know what this is. I'm going to start the boss countdown, but we'll see how it goes. Because I'm basically unable to fight. This is horrendous. Like, I'm literally at like one frame a second right now. I don't even know if I'm still alive. I managed to kill one of them. I managed to kill the bosses. Holy hell. I'll have to figure out what the hell mod adds this and get rid of it, because this is horrendous. Oh my god. It must be, I think it's because it... I think the reason they glitch out is because if you listen, when they go underground, it goes because I think it, basically what's happening is every single segment of the worm is simultaneously like entering the ground. Like normally, like with a magma worm, the whole thing enters the ground at once. Whereas this, every segment has to separately enter the ground every time it intersects with the floor, which is like means the game is trying to compute all of those interactions multiple times over all the time and so it's causing ridiculous lag and then it's it, the same goes for when it takes damage each individual segment has to take damage separately and therefore dealing damage to them it has to calculate the damage for every segment separately and it causes a bunch of lag that that's that's my theory on why it's so laggy I'm really not 100% sure, but that's my theory. Right. We're on this stage. Ooh! No lag so far. Okay. Things are looking good. Right. Let's go over here and see what we can do. Don't jump straight off the map. It's a bad idea. See if we get any 3D printers about. <clears throat> I, I knew that was going to hit me, but I, I really enjoy being hit by those things. I think it's hilarious. Oh, hello. Little cube man. You have to be careful because I'm taking quite a lot of damage here. Oh, I got an unlock. Nice. I see you over there trying to shoot me. We also got whatever this is. Become an aspect of void. Oh, nice. Never had this before. We are a void creature now. I still take damage in the void though, which is not very like an aspect of void creature, so. Don't quite agree with that. I think that's all of them dead now. No, he's still got three remaining. It's kind of odd. Oh god, I'm taking a lot of damage in here. Holy hell. Oh, we are glowing right now. Oh, I see. But apparently one of them's all the way over here. Like it's, it's showing him as there.
Gotcha. Gotcha. One more remaining. Oh, hello. What on earth ability is this that I see? That's new to me. Nice bit of ham. Good. We currently killed the last void creature. Head back over there. Almost fell off again. So bad for that. So many status effects. Corona bubble's kind of nice. I'm not quite sure what else the aspect of Void thing is doing for us. Nice block for damage on that. Hey, more fireworks. It's good. That one actually does damage to me. Shit. Be a little careful. Corrupt Soul Shrink Race splits enemies into two much weaker copies. Okay, I like that. Where's this take me? I kind of want to try it, but I don't want to get zoomed away. What the hell is this? I don't know what you are, but I don't want you. Come on. Oh, that's so cool. The two tiny copies. Rents a small amount of debuffs before breaking. Each debuff has a chance to bless all your stats. Sounds interesting. Oh, that's so cool, the little splitting. Look at that. It's so cool. So cool. Right, boss time. Where are you? I am not seeing the boss from here. Oh, hello. It's rather a few of you back here, isn't there? There's another void cradle here. Nice. Gain a barrier um, by hitting enemies. Kind of nice. Right, where the hell's the portal? I'm not seeing it at all. There's a 3D printer. Get a little bit of burners out of that. I'm gonna try and just sprint across with my low gravity. Damn it, it didn't really work. <laughs> I tried. There's a stick to get up. Missile drone, why not? Oh, there's the small ones. Look at them, they're so cute. I don't know why, but I love that. Um, that guy kind of just... <clears throat> he's dead, but he's kind of stuck there now. Where the hell am I meant to be going here? Oh god, it's, it's just the invisible one, goddammit. Very confused about where the teleporter is. Normally it's super visible, but I'm just not seeing it right now. Oh, there it is. Took a bit of finding, but we got it. Right, let's go activate the teleporter event. Got one of these going. God, our ricochet is doing us such a good job right now. Mimic is kind of nice. I've never seen it all the way up here before. Kind of odd. Nice little speed boost there. Sadly, we didn't get any more of those... Um, any more of those hourglasses for the extra duration. That would have been so good to stack a few of those up. It's a grandparent. Fuck me. Oh my lord. I didn't realise they had such heavy knockback. Thank god I blocked that damage. I think I got it. Okay.
Prevents barrier to kill when you're 55% HP. Okay, that's kind of nice. Okay, it's going to be a lot of split enemies going on here. Which isn't particularly a good thing, I guess. Um, stay into the abyss long enough and it starts to stare back. Blessing, okay. Not quite sure what that blessing is, but thank you. Okay, these guys splitting just doesn't work. This is really cool, this visual effect. Really adds to the hecticness of all of this. I keep standing in these bloody magma pools by accident. It is an affliction of mine. Is it taking us to the end boss or to the next stage? End boss, okay. I guess it's go time. I've not got a lot of move speed, I will say that. That's problematic usually. I do have a lot of damage though. I suppose I kind of have move speed when I'm like in my invisibility, but not a ton. It's an okay amount. We don't. The only jump height we have is that lower gravity, or whatever it was. Gravity affects you less, I think it was. We do technically move faster on a jump. If you look at our speed. 16 regular and we jump up to like 24 when we do a, when we do a jump. Right. Unfortunately we don't have any way to cheat the um, the boss. Sometimes if you've got enough movement speed or jump you can just get straight up there. We have to do the whole rigmarole. I didn't reach, really. Holy shit. Oh god. So I hit a little bit more than I was expecting there. These enemies can be tricky. Honestly, splitting these guys probably isn't a good idea. They're kind of not dying, either. Good to go. Hello. Oh, there's more of them behind me. Interesting. I didn't realise. Come on, fellas. Why not? One of the things is here. Yeah, there it is. I knew it was here somewhere. <laughs> That's so good. Like I said, I don't actually know how valuable splitting these guys is, but... To try to jump over their attacks. Working out for me reasonably well, to be honest. Oh god. Fire looks kind of mean. A missile drone just gliding around me, I love it. I hear an enemy over here, but he's having a hard time getting to us, apparently. Oh god, these guys splitting into tiny dudes as well? No thanks. I can hardly hit them. We all done here? We're all done here. 
Nice. Right, to the next one. I'm not quite sure what the next one is. Okay, there's one over there. Still don't know if we have the move speed to make some of these jumps. Something like that bad. I can't believe those guys... Honestly, I don't even know if the splitting thing's that good when you have this high damage. Because I could just be killing these guys outright in a single hit. And now it's taken me three shots to kill some of the weaker enemies. Because they die and then split and then have to die and die again. Slightly annoying. This one's going fast. Oh, this one's got like a damaging aura. Oh god, it's like a push me aura. Gotta stay in the air. I'm just gonna leave these enemies. They're not gonna kill me. I say that as they're killing me. Got like a good rhythm going with this thing now. There you go, we got it, we got it. Next one, we're on our way. These haven't been too bad at all this time around. Last time I remember them taking way longer. I'm guessing this twirly one's gonna do the same thing again, right? Yeah, it is. Jump rhythmically. Can't hit us. There's one of these bad boys up here. I should get him, nice. Well, I say get him. He just split into two. He should become potentially twice as deadly. Not my idea of great. Okay, this one is also done. Beautiful. And you know what? You can get gone. The last one is... we got one over there. Oh, can you see the jumps? Look at that, it was ace. Can we do that all the way over here? If we can, it's going to be great. I think we can, you know. Try to jump at the right distance to make it work. That's pretty cool. Nice little shortcut over here. I like that. That felt really, that felt really good. Even though it wasn't all that impressive, it still felt good. Can we actually make this jump? No, we cannot. Ah, oh, balls. Oh, no, no. Ah, oh, balls. So, okay, we've got, we've got an invincibility shield. We won't take damage from this. Although it is going to respawn us back in miles away, apparently. Not a big fan of that. Okay, good. We made it. Right, last one. Is this the super speedy one? There's one of them that's like goes really fast. I don't know if it's random though. It might just be random. Okay, this one's just a lot of enemies. Did you see that little dude up there? Yeah, a little bit annoyed by the splitting enemies right now. Not ideal for us. Especially these enemies that leave like pools on death. Oh god. This is not being good for us. Oh, dude, I lost so much percentage for leaving the circle there. I kind of have to stay here. Don't worry, we can hold it down. I basically can't leave the circle as I lose all my percentage. Good, good. We got them all. And then we got one of these jump pads over here. Uh, can I actually make that jump? I don't know. Also, we got an elite item there. Thank you. 
gonna take the safe route here. There is the shopping area, but I don't think I have much to trade to get much stuff there, so I'm not that bothered. Right, up we go. Boss time. I'm not super confident on this boss fight, I'll be honest. My my lack of mobility, like movement speed and jump height, is definitely majorly worrying. My invisibility, however, could prove pretty useful. I love this cutscene. Boom, in he comes. You can't see me. <laughs> you can't see me. Boom. Even my damage, like, isn't that great. But yeah, I think I just don't have the movement speed to get out of the way if he does like a hammer slice on me. I think basically what I need to do is that right there, where the moment it looks like he's coming for me, I go invisible. There you go. And then he attacks in the wrong place. This is going slow though, this is going very slow. He's gonna do his jump attack again this sec. There we go. It's going okay. Just pretty slow as all. First phase is pretty simple done. Second phase is the, the enemies, right? Which is going to be kind of annoying with all the splits going on. Ooh, although, actually, I'm pretty sure once they split, they're no longer a boss enemy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I, I don't have to kill them all. All I have to do is split them all. Which is dangerous for me but kind of good for getting the, the fight over with. Like, the fight's over now, even though there's a bunch of enemies here. Which is dangerous, because, yeah, now he's going to come back. May have been a mistake. I'm just going to kind of leave them and, like, ricochet deal with them for the most part. Oh, hello. This is so hectic. I don't even know what's going on right now. I have quite a lot of money, I know that. Which is actually kind of good because I think I have more money equals more damage, so that's kind of playing well together right now. This attack's always a really dangerous one for me because I just don't know how to dodge it. Yep. <laughs> I just kind of hope for the best and I got hit by it. Well, anyways, that was a fun run nonetheless. I hope you guys enjoyed some more Modern Risk Rain. I'll see you guys in the next one.